New CDC guidelines for quarantine during the pandemic mean that you might not have to self isolate for a full 14 days. KPVI News That Works For You journalist Kate Garner explains the changes. There's some hardship attached to that. COVID-19 has an incubation period of 14 days. But two weeks is a long time to quarantine, especially for those who can't work from home. In looking at the data that they have available, they did make a decision that it's acceptable now to take a couple of other approaches. The CDC still recommends the full 14-day quarantine period for those who have come in contact with someone with a confirmed case of COVID-19. But now there are two other options. Option one. If you're a close contact, you can end your isolation after day 10 instead of day 14. Option two cuts isolation time down to one week. If you have a PCR test that's done at least five days after your most recent contact and that test comes back negative. Then you're okay to end your isolation after day seven, but it's important to note that both options are contingent on one thing. You have no symptoms. And if you have any of those symptoms, you should probably get tested and definitely continue to isolate for the for full 14 days. If the incubation period is 14 days, you may wonder why the CDC would shorten the isolation period in certain situations. They have enough data now that they feel like they can give people these other two options without really causing a big jump in cases. In Pocatello, Cade Garner, KPVI News That Works For You. If you need to shorten your quarantine period and want to get tested, it needs to be a PCR test and not an antigen test. Man recommends calling your local testing location before going in to make sure that a PCR test is available.